Hello and welcome to oh an IG Patrol. One where we are going to talk about something so interesting, the bell's not worth it. No worth. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, the, the bell's worth it. Okay. The bell's worth it. I'm good now. Okay. So, so what is Blue, what is our interesting subject? Well, our interesting subject is whether alien life is possible. Oh. Yep, music to my ears. So, anyway, so Hollywood has really made aliens, you know, aliens, a bit of a joke. In fact, there have been so many alien movies that people just think that they just look like weird things with big tentacles, eyes, with big eyes, you know, small face, small nose, huge head, small chin, you know, maybe short or tall, you know, some very weird creatures, but no clothes, no clothes, yeah. But and also they've actually made aliens creatures that are very, you know, smart, smart, intelligent. Not just Hollywood, yes, but. Games even. Even Halo. Halo, yes. Halo is a very uh, fun game where you actually battleship fighting, fighting an empire of aliens which have advanced technology. And they're so close, yet so far. So basically, what is an alien, Jan Blue? What is well, an alien? We see the word alien as a higher life form, but it is not true. Aliens can range from single cell bacteria, single cells, one cell, one building block of a human species. One cell, yes, bacteria, the stuff that make you sick, yep, those could be aliens. In fact, this whole world sees aliens as basically any extraterrestrial creature which is unknown to us. And smart. And smart. You know but what, let me let's just say. Yeah. The probability of alien life is now getting high because of this one thing. How many galaxies are there in the universe alone? Like How many of those galaxies have planets? How many of those planets are in the perfect position to harbor life? In fact, research done by NASA, I'm not sure what the exact research is, shows that there are all millions of planets around this galaxy. In fact, there's this thing called the Goldilocks Zone. It's um, an area of space which has the perfect conditions for, let's say, a planet to harbor life. For us, basically, all we need is water, a big energy source, which is the sun, and an atmosphere. Food. Yeah, and an atmosphere to keep everything in. But does life really have to have? an energy source like the sun, water, or an atmosphere? Well, let me say this. Research shows that some bacteria can survive the cold vacuum of space. And Kasturi J. Venkanteswara Kasturi J. Venkanteswara found out that some bacteria spores can survive a trip to Mars which we are planning to do, and a long trip to Europa, one of Jupiter's many moons. In fact, a drone was actually sent to Mars, and just after a few centimeters of digging, guess what it found? Ice. Water. One of the main components of life. So who am I to say that aliens don't exist? In fact, one thing, since bacteria can, si can survive the cold vacuum of space, Aren't we putting aliens out there by simply landing unsanitized shuttles and drones yeah. on other planets? Because bacteria can survive it, definitely. Bacteria yeah. spores can survive it, which means bacteria, and bacteria don't need that much to live. For a very long time, we as a human, the scientific organization of the world has thought that, you know, for there to be life, you need an energy source, like, for example, the sun. You can't survive without the sun. But actually, a very young scientist uh, recently went underwater and found that life was actually plentiful under there where no sunlight could reach underwater 
in heats that are scorching heat of 600 degrees. That's where they got their energy from, not the sun. You know, right now, that you're saying recent, but by the time this is out there on YouTube, it might not be that recent. But let me now just say, if there really are aliens out there, which could just be a simple bacteria, then aliens do exist because we would be aliens to them. So we are the aliens to the aliens that are aliens you to us. Got point. Another thing is that, let's say we find aliens. There is no way that we are going to travel there because the nearest galaxy, which is the Andromeda galaxy, is hundreds of light years away. And light one years light year is 66 trillion miles. In fact, if somebody was to board a spaceship, in fact, let's say we were having a, a trip to the alien to borrow some sugar, it would take 70 years. No, 700 years, something, 70,000, so long for you to get from here to get to there and back. And that's then how boring humans is. might have wiped each other out. Humans might have wiped each other out. Another so, yeah. Now we have just said that aliens exist. 100% proven. You may go against us, but we will come back right at you with more information. And in the comments, you can just say what you think might be wrong. And we will just come back at you with more information. And yes we are going to use science against you. Yup. Even if it might be a little bit off, we will do research. 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 Now, thank you for watching this IJB Talks about aliens. And we will see you all later. And I hope that it's made you think that, you know, the question that has been burning in human society, are we really alone?